What the fuck? All I said, all I said, blown out of proportion. All I said was Suarez. Suarez, you look a bit pale today. You've taking your vitamins, and then he made it out that pale oh, people are ugly. Balls. Very dashing, dog. Not what I said. Oh, I can't believe you. I'm married. I used to be pale before. Okay, okay. okay. all right, guys. All right. Well, that's the last time I look out for your well-being. Never stopped Suarez. me before, Richard. It's never stopped me before. Okay, well, it will stop you this okay. time. Hello. <clears throat> You don't, this danger, stop it. Stop. Oh, Embarrassing me. Oh, <laughs> you look good great, Mr. I'm married. I'm married. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think I have any announcements. No. Okay. So, Jupiter's not having Hello. either. So, I think we might just go straight to the meeting, too. What do you think about that? I have an announcement. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Louise is saving the meeting. I'm kind of okay. uh, I will, we'll go ahead and we'll get started uh, then. Um, we'll good morning, everyone. It's gonna be Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all doing the, today? The times Woo! Be Damn good, man. Oh, yeah. Doing fine. Uh, Thank you. Good. Glad to hear that. I'm glad that you guys are all doing good. Welcome. Welcome. Um, so listen, <laughs> I'm going to keep this one pretty short. The first part, there's no real official announcements. I believe Lise has one. Yeah, I do. But then uh, yeah, we're going to go two. straight into meeting two. And uh, you guys can go over that. So, uh, keep yeah. It a buck. All right. Yeah, we're going to keep it a buck 50 today. You know, we're not going to waste any time. Come nice. on up, please. Miss Demi. Hello, guys. So, uh, Hello. I've been made aware of uh, something that happened with PETO yesterday. Um, just a heads up when you call PETO to a scene, please don't just leave them at the scene and expect them to do the escort themselves. We had someone get held up for a car yesterday and made them drop because there was no cops there. You if you're there and you've called them, one cop should be staying behind to escort them. Look, at least one. You should never leave them alone. Please escort them to the impound lot. Uh, do we know which Thank cop you. did that? Uh, no idea. They couldn't remember who it was. Sounds right, like well, uh, IA needs to look into that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm All on right. the case. All right, Demi, you can come Me on. and Snow All will right. lock this down. Hey, I appreciate right. you guys. Locked. So See that? Last... He's locked. Uh, so last night we had um, our alpha class going over crime scene investigations. Um, if you have attended, uh, I'll probably just hand you your certificate in person, um, just in case people have like, you know, call sign changes and whatnot. It's probably just easier for me to do that. Um, so if you've attended, uh, I know I stated last night that it might be in your locker. No, I'll just I'll just give it to you in person. Um, other than that, Percy and myself are doing a, another class on Thursday. Um, there'll be one for each shift. So there'll be one for shift one, yes. shift two, shift three. Um, nice. we're going over search warrants and subpoenas. Uh, so if you're yes. interested in attending, please do. We'll be having it in all shifts. Um, we haven't figured out a time yet. Uh, but once we do, we'll make sure to announce that for everyone. And as always, there'll be food available. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you guys there for that kind of stuff. Please Thank come. You. Yes, please come. Yes, You'll get please. stickers oh, and can I... tickets. Thank you. Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah. That's good. I'm gonna, always come. I'm going to say something on that. Uh, I'm going to ask Demi to note down exactly who at the UPD pool is attending stuff like that. Because as I said at the last announcement, uh, your job is not guaranteed. And we are looking for officers who want to continue learning even once they're fully hired. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. The learning is boring. Shut up, Fred. It's important, no, though. Not. Learning is very important. You know what's boring? Losing a court case because you fucked up a search warrant or a subpoena. That's boring. Wasted Can you put in general communications? No, I'll that's forget. cool. That sounds infuriating, not boring. I would lose <laughs> my mind. All right. Yeah, that's cool right Well, there. I think that's all the official stuff we have to go over. Uh, one more tiny thing. Tiny thing. Uh, very small. Okay. Very brief. All right. For those that don't know yet, as you probably have already noticed, it's very hard to miss by the lovely haircut over there to the, the window side. Um, uh, we'd like to congratulate and welcome our lovely new junior ranger, Luth Ragmore. Uh, yeah. She's now part of the right. lovely yeah. department. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Right. Right. Thank you so much. Very hard for it. She's going to continue to impress all of us. So make sure you, uh, you know. Hasn't she been a cadet for like nine months? 
Fred, no, stop no. it. Uh, now clap Mr. Pre and respectively. Yeah, it's an honor, y'all. Hell Thank yeah. You. There you go. All right. That's why I got an announcement. Oh, Thank you so much. I swear to God, Perfect. you better not. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, internal <laughs> affairs. Kyle Pred. Snitches get riches. Report oh, any wrongdoings damn it. to IA. I love hounding you sons of bitches. It's really given me life. Because I have such a target on my back, you know, none of you won't hesitate to fuck me over. Well, I'm getting preemptive with it. I'm going to fuck you over. I'm going to make you regret any fuck up you do what anyone stitches on you about. I'm going to be your number one enemy and adversary alongside the other te team members of the Internal Affairs Division. And I look forward to ruining your career and sending you back to the UPD pool. If you, are, if you already have a job. I also look forward to you potentially not being hired and fired and removed from the PD. It really gasses me up. I have eyes everywhere. If you see anything, come to me. I'll make sure it gets done. It's real easy to tell when someone's lying. You just ask them the same question on repeat. Eventually, they slip up. Oh my questions? God. Do we have any questions in here? Any, any questions? Uh, yeah, I got one. What, what, right, if, what the what fuck do it, you want, old man? What if, it, what if it's you? What if it is me? Please. I haven't done anything illegal. Then you can come straight to me. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you go straight to my handler. Okay, sounds handler. good. Any more questions for any of you incompetent shithead cops? A oh, fuck? That's not necessary, Fred. Fred, right, come on. Completely That's necessary. Really Most That's of them are just dog shit. I don't, I don't do we know have any? Case. Do what we have hell? any more questions for me while I'm here? Perfect. Talking to you would be a waste of my breath and time anyway. <laughs> okay. Right. He was joking. Yeah, dude, don't worry about him. You guys are doing great, okay? Funny joke. Oh, that was yeah, a good one. Very, very good. Okay, uh, does anyone else have anything? Does anyone uh, want to share your conspiracy theories? Anything uh, that you care about letting the whole class team know? No? I have, okay. I have one. I have one. I have one. Okay. Well, what's up, Tails? Okay. Come to the podium. 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 Come in. I noticed something yesterday that criminals might be getting smarter, okay, guys? Uh, if you what? pay attention. No way. No, really? No, wait, wait, wait. They, they're developing their own canine unit. What? what? Look. Look. What? what? Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. Oh, PG-18 does look. have a pug. That's, that's scary. Are you a GSF member? I'm gonna yes, shoot that that's dog. Yes, that's a that's a oh. GSF member. They're developing their own canine unit, so be wary. Our canine handlers I'm need to be tell you, my dog careful. Will fuck that dog up. Of course, we are not yeah. fighting. Sorry, get dog fighting, Ring. Of course, fighting. No, no, we're not. Dog fighting. I'm gonna pull you to die. I'll do it. That's okay, Fred. You might want to hold off on that one. Yeah, I don't know about dog fighting ring is the All the I want to do is just roll dice in the alleyway. Roll those bones and dog fight. That's all I want in this city. It's oh, the only two God. things I ask. That's illegal, Penn. That does uh, well, no, it's not. It's not in the law. What, the, what do you mean? That's true. There's nothing against there's nothing against well, dog fighting. An animal cruelty, animal that's, cruelty. Human, that's human that's human to, that's human to the animal. Okay, no one's gonna be dog fighting. Okay, let's see you play What are you talking about? Listen, the boss is spoken, okay. <clears throat> okay, does anyone else have anything? Be the next Michael Vick. What if no! the dog has a gun? Shoot it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm don't. shooting that dog <laughs> regardless if I get into a gang fight. That and dog's going down first. <laughs> All right, well, thanks everyone. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, sex with criminals. With the law. Oh, with, I have a conspiracy the theory that might blow your mind. Okay, let's hear it. Oh, okay. shit. Lionel Messi has been seriously injured since 2013. He is not the superstar that you think he is. It is all Mara, make Messi, Messi, Messi. No. I don't know who that is, but okay. Who is that? Who's Messi? He's a footballer. CR7. CR7. I don't watch football. Mara, Messi, 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 I have watched a bit of the Super Bowl, but that's about it. Messi, that's like when you No, eat, actual you know, football. Soccer, not, not, not American not, football. Not American not, football. Not, not, not British that, football. Not that football. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to have a bull for I think you should yeah, give them yeah, some uh, words of wisdom oh, and really get their spirits up before they go out there. You've already fucked that by telling them that none of them mean anything.
Well, that's what you come in. I knock them down low, and then you build them back up high yeah. there. All right. Yeah. Are we giving give an answer for Noriel? Already? I know what your name is. I don't. Noriel. <clears throat> I don't. All right. I don't have to say. Um, I've been asked to give you some words you. of wisdom. Um, all I ask is that you don't die, and you don't get captured, because that would be a pain in the ass. <clears throat> so get out there and do your job. <clears throat> you Thank heard you. it. Get out. Get out there and Thank don't you. die. Yeah. yeah. And four. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good job, right. guys. Yeah, go out there and don't <laughs> die. Do for a job. Or be, if you're captured, Is that good? Uh, don't this be. Right. Was that no, good? That was don't all that was Honestly, all if you do die, die, die quiet. Die. I'm I'm so bad. Don't die. Well, how am I supposed to do better? You're in charge now, so everyone's <laughs> going to try <laughs> sucking your dick. So you can go up there and literally tell everyone to lick your balls, and they would say it's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. You should go up there and tell them to lick your taint right now. No. No. I'm not going to die. I quiet relations. Okay. We don't thank like loud death. Oh it's annoying. Thank you, thank you, you don't want to do. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to. No, emotion. no, no taint. No taint. I like how I you somehow managed to camouflage that. Dark. I have a question. Dark said, "Lick your yeah. balls." If no, I. God damn it! No, we're drowning in this pool. Okay. Oh my god. Hey. Oh, dog. Espinosa, what up, baby? Doc, are you free to talk at all? Uh, I'm just going to have a quick meeting with Hayes and uh, finish that up okay. and then I'll be free. All yeah, right, me? okay, just let me know. I just wanted to say, uh, I sent you a text you. of the uh, the names. Oh, okay. Um, and then before I gave access to the accounts and stuff to um, Jenny, I don't know it now with like everything changing, if it's like something I should give to you and Libby as well or what is it? Shelby. Uh, for alpha oh get access to like all that stuff why would i need access i don't know just like oversight i just want to make sure i'm doing things above board you know? i thought it's like a i mean is it like a police thing or is it just i thought it was a yeah. youth thing no it's a police thing i get like oh. and everything for it oh shit then yes i would i would like access please okay all right okay all right I'll yeah. not that i think that you do anything wrong but it's it's worth ever like Oh, yeah, no, that's that's why I wanted to make sure, like, um, that everyone who can see stuff, you know, needs to or whatever. Um, yeah, listen, I hope you don't mind me saying that about the writing names there. Like, I don't want to, no, I don't no, want to make if I'm not trying to force people, it's just it's genuine. Like, you know, you're teaching people things that you know they should know or they should be better at, and I want to make sure we know who's trying, you know. Yeah, I already, um, I take attendance for all classes. The only one I didn't was Pred's ocean jumping class, because, like, 50 people showed up for that. I will go. It wasn't, like, a real class. It was more of a reenactment of... Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, that was fine, but normally, yeah, I do take attendance. I can just forward that all over to you. It's quite easy. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank okay. you, Demi. All right. Sounds good. Bye. Bye. I'll see you guys in a bit. Have a good night. Oh, uh, well, I... Thank you. I have. I've been losing. He's too high. What? No, I'm not I've high been, anymore. You know, no. I, I've been no. Home. I, I sobered up. I did janitorial duty. Foot chases. They can't keep up with these criminals. Mm. I cleaned the entire. You know, there was. I'm gonna make there was a difference. pool. There was a. There was a puddle full of fucking shit in the cells. Nobody cleaned it up, so I had to fucking get a bucket down there, clean that all up. No, oh, you're a good lad, Sally. You're a good lad. If you don't make it into a department, I'll happily hire you as a janitor. What the fuck? I thought you were you you oh, were no, thinking about hiring me, weren't you? What's wrong? Yeah, exactly. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Talk. Of course I am. Of course I am. Oh, what the fuck, dog? No, I was joking. I was joshing. I was joshing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesting. That's why I haven't heard anything. Yeah. That goddamn yeah, student. Yeah. So, uh, right, six well, hours in line. You have a good one, all right? Really? Let's say it. You made it. You made six hundred grand, man. Let's not complain, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll get back to you. I'll call you. Yeah, yeah. Take care, dog. I love Sally. <laughs> Hello, you've reached uh, the voicemail of Richard Doak, Assistant Chief of Police. Please leave a message after the tone. Tone. Hey, Doak. Uh, hey, Doak, it's me and Hinch. Hey, I just want to let you know I watched you take a, a shit earlier today outside my MRPD uh, um, parking lot. And I just want to say that um, the way you shit. Is a lot different than I, well, I've seen other people shit. And I just want to say it's very admirable. And I'd love to watch you shit.
<laughs> fucking women. Specifically detailed out. Somebody whose sister was on scene who then cried about it, and then he then went to her job consistently to then make fun of the fact that he killed her brother. Oh, that Ziggy, that Ziggy type's gonna come in handy. Also, what is wrong with what is wrong with Jenny? How does she come up with this shit? Don't tell me I have to do fucking. Oh, I do, I do. I say this fucking PD caps a bitch. Anyone ever said that? I'm saying it. PD caps a bitch. She steals jokes from chat. <laughs> Yes. Don't check your voicemails. Don't check my voicemails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. Um, Why? Um, I may have drunk voicemail juice. So you're drunk right now? Wait, I don't. Well, how do you know when you got that voicemail? I mean, I mean, I saw a missed call um, from you. I didn't know you left a voicemail. I uh, don't know. That was a long time ago. Yeah, you, you gotta get your phone checked out or something. Okay. All right. Well, th okay. thank you. All right. So I'll check that when I get home with my husband. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll oh, open that voicemail with wait. my husband. Wait, what do you... What do you well, sometimes we like to lie in bed together and then open our voicemails and listen to what people have left for us. And I think that would be a, a pleasant evening. Um, oh. Um... Oh, okay. I don't... You know what? Why don't you just listen to... Um, like... Um, you just delete it. Just delete it. I'm already here. Okay, I'm I'll delete here. it. Okay, yeah, could, yeah. Uh, could you... Could you, uh... Could you send Hazen, please? We were just having a meeting. Hey, Can you kind of... Kind of bulge to the front. Hey. You okay, Crystal? Oh, I'm okay. 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 Are you alright? Yo. Yeah, I'm good. Yo, what's the, uh... What's the protocol? What's the protocol She's on? Ready for uh, Thank you, Peach. Oh, uh, wearing the uh, LSPD windbreaker, man. No, no, Hayes. No, come on, Hayes. Uh, it's I, I only got. Intrude on any... No, 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 you're it's fine. Literally not even that important. It's literally not that important. The wind, the jacket, you mean? Yeah, the windbreaker, the jacket. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just, you just wear it. Okay, we know. Okay, we get to wear that shit. Cool. Yeah, wear the jacket. Uh, word. All right. Yep. All right, thank you, Carl. I'm, I'm just gonna finish this meeting yeah. with Hazel. Go yeah, do you think? Sorry, right, Hazel. It was literally just. No, you're Gucci. I didn't want to intrude. Oh my God, Hazel! <laughs> Sorry. Hayes! What the hell? Oh, I can't tackle. Surprise it. Oh, yeah, tackling is against SOPs, Carl. Uh, thank you for following those SOPs. <clears throat> yep, yep. Yeah, tackling. That's another thing I miss. I used to tackle people from the top rope all the time, yep. screaming from the top rope, and I can't do that anymore. I mean, clearly you've got the physical capability for surprise attack, so yeah. I'll add that to your notes. Um, okay, what was it? I, I couldn't remember what my questions were. I'll be honest, and even through that meeting, I couldn't remember what I was asking. But I do have a question for you, um, mm. which was in in your in your mind, in your perfect world. Um, six months down the line, what do you think LSPD looks like? <clears throat> uh, the thing that I always wanted LSPD to be is not so cutthroat. And kind of just dogpiling on people to make others look better. So the thing that I want LSPD to be is just more teamwork and more working and listening to each other and not just being like oh well this person doesn't do x thing right i'm just gonna go run and get them strike points instead of trying to train people it's it's something that i am trying to focus on is more being there for training uh i've asked libby if it's okay if i start setting up like training days because it was something I was supposed to do for PBSO before the collapse. And me and Cannoli were going to organize it, but I feel like it's something that overall the PD needs is just days where we go out, just do training scenarios, and it will increase teamwork and communication and overall morale. That's a really good idea. 
Um, yeah, I really liked it. I mean, obviously, uh, I think the whole PD needs training days at this point with the, with the things I've been having to deal with. Um, you know, I've been yeah. showing the, the reshuffles, like, also cause people to just lose brain cells, I think, and forgot how to, forget how to be police officers for some reason, and I don't know, I don't really know why. Um, Everyone but yeah, just at each other's throat. I have never had so much talk back before. It feels like all the respect that I've earned through just being a competent, solid officer just turned into nothing. Like, it doesn't matter anymore. And I got to start from square one, which whatever, I'll s just keep doing what I do. But it kind of sucks when people are just constantly disrespecting you. No, I completely agree. I think it's um, a lot of people want to, you know, I guess be the best now that this reshuffle's happened. And I guess that comes with a lot of arrogance, I think, um, that I, I'm not a big fan of personally. So, uh, you know, I haven't seen a lot of it. I've heard some things that I'm really not impressed by. And uh, I'll be taking that into consideration. There were some people shit talking a department, and uh, those people are gonna have a gonna have a tough time with uh, with getting into LSPD because that's that's not the culture we're going for. I mean, I, I saw it from an outside perspective. You know, over the past six months to a year, how LSPD just dismantled themselves because they were trying to step on each other to climb the ladder and just throw each other under the bus and. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty, and that's, that's something I want to avoid. <clears throat> yeah, I was a part of it until Bass decided to try and split p and and at that point, I just kind of didn't want to be a part of it since no one really wanted to work together. Yeah. So that's, like, the only huge concern is that it's, LSPD is going to revert back to that because there are people that are just used to doing it. And it's hard to get out of familiarity. I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know, I think Reed experienced a, uh, a similar kind of attitude with LSPD and SCU and and things. And I think, uh, yeah, we, we I think we just know what to avoid. We know we know the downfalls. We know the pitfalls. Like I. I've already, we've already got an LSPD cop bar. It's a pub, but, and I'm going to start making it, you know, a thing that, you know, at the end of shifts and stuff, I want people to kind of get off duty and go down the pub together and end their shift by having just a, some friendly non-work chats and actually get to know each other. So we're not just, like, yeah. cops being cops together. We're people being cops together, and I really want to encourage that. Um and really get that kind of familiarity between the people you're working with. I don't want to force people to do it, but I think we can, okay. I don't think it'd be very difficult. <clears throat> I mean, it's also a way to just kind of de-stress from the entire Exactly, day. yeah. But and they've got quiz nights. <clears throat> I'm not good at quizzes. Really? I heard you're really smart. I am really smart, but uh, <laughs> I have test anxiety or just overall anxiety where i feel like if i'm being judged about something then it turns into a whole thing where i don't act normal i act like in a way that i think somebody wants me to act oh god and yeah i know i know what that is yeah yeah well maybe j we'll get some alcohol in yeah <clears throat> and then i'm sure that'd be fine okay yeah uh, all right we well, do you like karaoke yeah Hell yeah, I love karaoke. What's your favorite karaoke song? Definitely not Stairway to Heaven. Definitely. Ooh. No. That's a long one. Yeah, it's a really long one. Oh my god, why would you do that? Well, someone just like yells it in the audience and then you're like, yeah, sure, I can do that. It's not yeah, bad. But okay. then, like, there's like a huge huge section in it where it's just guitar riffs and it's just like okay yeah just air guitar all that shit okay i like that all right well um i guess the last question would be hayes uh, if you could recommend anybody for lspd who would you, who would you recommend one person one person i would say 
would be cannoli because I know you guys are a little bit more bare bones and shifty. Yes. Uh, I know that he is looking for PBSO, so he's not like the best one to recommend, but. Hey, as long as he's going where he's going to be happy, that's what I care about. Yeah. <laughs> it's honestly the only thing that matters. Yeah, I want to. I, w I do want to have another chat to cannoli at some point, but I don't want to. You know, we spoke recently, so I don't want to dogpile on him or anything like that. Um, just I just let him make his own choice at this point. But yeah, okay, that's that's a good one. Yeah, I really like cannoli. Okay, well, um, have you got any more questions or anything I can answer? Uh, no, I don't really have any other questions. Honestly, you and Libby have been doing an amazing job, and putting LSPD in the right track, like. Out of all the officers that I interact with, I don't get any disrespect from LSPD. So good. If you ever do, I'll sort them out. I'll send them straight back to the pool, and I mean that. Okay. I will. I'll do it. I'll chuck them in like a, you know, when they throw the babies in the pool to teach them how to float. So that's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> but without the, without the the armbands. <clears throat> You're just gonna let them drown in the. Pool? Well, that's up to them if they drown, you know. That's up to them. That's what they get for being disrespectful. <clears throat> they die? Damn. Well, I mean, I'm not saying they get... You know, maybe it was a bad acronym. Maybe it was a bad one. And that's not an acronym. I know words. I'm, I'm English. Yes. You are English. I am English. I, I speak the Queen's... The King... The, the King's English. <clears throat> oh, God, I didn't even think about that. Now this is yeah. gone. I have to quit King's English. Like it's it's gonna be it's gonna be okay. It's, it's still good English. It's still a really good English. I'm gonna don't tell anybody about this. <clears throat> I won't tell anybody. This Thank you. Here. Okay, I need to get. Oh, that reminds me. I need to get a picture of Liz up on on the wall in here, so she yeah, can watch yeah. over me. <clears throat> Okay. Just like well, she's um, watching over you in heaven. Why do you have to say that? It remind me that she's dead. <laughs> I I was thinking that maybe she should they they, they they fake to death so she can have a nice retirement. She could watch over you from the retirement home. Yes, that's better. The moon. Yeah, that's she's on the moon. <clears throat> she's on the moon. Yeah, with her big spyglass, just watching me specifically. Okay, well, um, yeah, if I can help you with anything else, I just let me know, okay? Uh, no, I'm pretty much good. I'm just kind of waiting to make a decision and evaluating everything, so. Okay, all right, well, um. I don't want to rush into anything. There's absolutely no rush, so yeah, just just let me know, okay? Yes, I will let you know. Okay. And I'll send you my resume that I made. Ooh, okay, yeah. Bing, 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 It's very bing. official. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll give it to read. Thank you, host. All right. You have a good day. You too. Ta-ta. Ta -ta. Hey, Tiny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You keep pressing. Yeah, you keep Don't. pressing. You keep doing your thing. What? I just to talk to you. You did? Did AJ Hunter have a crow? Did he have a co- Hey, sir, the goddamn line. Peach, did you skip the line? Peach! Peach, get out. Don't I'm skip the line. Any, I'm not doing Peach, any lines of coke right line. now. I'm not doing any lines of coke right now. I don't feel like right that. Right now? Either. Peach, don't I, skip I the line. your hair off and feed What do you mean? I, I didn't know there was a line. What, There's a line. Why is there a line? Can we Because I'm special. No. Group, group meeting? No group meeting. Sorry, Peach. Okay, I'm sorry. One second. Hey, you. You ever cut me in line again? I'm gonna cut you. <laughs> Demi. I want to talk to you. All right, I'm okay. sorry about that. I'm back. Okay. Come here, dog. You sit. Dog. Uh, two things. If 
that's okay. Um, yeah. One is I was hoping to get Doug an interview um, because he stated that he is a free agent um, and I want him to, you know, have the same experience I did. And I, want I will only to speak to Doug if he sounds like the pug from Men in Black. Well, he speaks Latin, so I don't... Maybe? El Spico uh, Latino. So let's have that conversation. Doug, you want to try? Yeah. I don't speak Latin, so I can't translate. Oh. Oh. Doug, bring up your bar license. He's, he's, if you look at his MDW profile, he's the only animal with a bar license. He actually has a bow license. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, damn it, he's choking. Shh, for a second. Shh, for a second. Um, Don't on, tell him this is. That's your superior officer, Demi. What? I know, but listen, I just want to show you his profile. Don't tell your superior to shush. All right, Doug. Keep going. Hmm. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. I get it. I get it. Doug, can you um, can you tell me what you think about this? Um, this, I got this on my on my voicemail. Um. Oh yeah, dark baby. I, I'm so much better than Rhodes. I'll do anything to get in your department, and I mean anything. You think that you think you think I should? What do you think I should do? Really. Oh. That's a bit of a dirty bastard. All he said was fuck. That's all he said. It's just one word. <laughs> uh, I think like that's so. what... Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. I think my Latin's been, pretty good. Uh, <laughs> hanging out with Cricket too much. Oh, his vocabulary is rubbing off on him. Yeah. Wait, wait, cricket! Wait, who... I thought you meant the cadet to Cricket. No, no. Cricket! It's my other pug. Oh, no, Cricket, that's a wall. Oh, Cricket. I can cricket. see why Cricket's not the police dog. No, he's got three brain cells and they all operate at different times. Oh. So he means well, though, but... Yeah. He's, he's a rescue. Are well, you like Dr. Doolittle or something, Demi? Yeah, I'm trying to get more pugs. I have a third pug. Yeah, no, well, well, okay. Maybe not pugs, okay? Pugs aren't exactly, you know... they got short what lifespans. I know, that means they deserve all the love. Listen, I got Doug, he's my drug pug. I have Cricket, he's my bug pug. And then I was going to adopt uh, Waffles, and he was going to be my thug pug. But I What's gotta a wait thug to talk pug? To yeah. about that. He, uh, so Waffles, on his on his little profile, uh, states that he was rescued from the south side. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Well, um... yeah, I used to herd the chickens down in the barrio. Maybe he can give us them. some info, you know. I hope so. They said they found Look, him in a crack den. He was being used as a pillow, so I don't know. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, poor thing, I know. Yeah. Okay, well, um, Doug, you hired. Oh, Doug, congrats! We're done, Doug. We're in the chain, buddy. All right, oh, and we now should, he's we okay. Get... What did he do? He's just, he's taking a nap now. Oh, he's, he's done his work. Cricket! Cricket! Yeah. <laughs> he's earned his retirement. Okay, well, um... All right, maybe we should take down... We should go down to the pub at some point and celebrate Doug's promotion. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. I think he'd like that. Okay. Um, is there anything else I can help you with today, Jimmy? Oh, um... I just wanted to, um... Say that, you know, if, um... If you need help with anything in Shift 2, just, like, let me know. I know, like, okay. you know, like our times and stuff don't really align all the time. Yeah. Um, but I know, like, if you guys ever need help with, like, you know, interviews, um, or anything else, just let me know, because, um, you know, I want to help build the department. I like doing that kind of sort of thing. Quite well. One thing I would really appreciate is um recommendations. Uh, I've got quarter in sweets doing it, but, uh, you know, I appreciate your opinion on people. And uh, if you think anybody would be good, just uh, send me a text, send me an email, or just grab me whenever okay. and let me know. Um, one name that I would recommend um, yeah. for Shift 3, um, and I believe he was going to talk in here earlier. Um, his name is Colton Culver. Um, he's currently, I believe, a solo cadet as he has a 600 call sign. 
Um, I'm currently taking him on as a protege right now to try to teach him everything about, you know, law and criminology and science. Um, and he's been a really good egg so far. So he's definitely one that I'd recommend despite him. I think he has an obsession with the Twilight and has like the vampire eyes, like as contact lenses. It's That's weird, 607, but... right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've heard, yeah, I've, I've heard him about. I'm crying. All right. No, Ted. Thank you, Demi. Yeah. Um, and then before I get out of here, I think next one I'd recommend is probably in shift two. His name is Sunny Sweets. Sunny he's Sweets. Kind of a goofball, but he means really well. And he's good at doing his police work and I think he'd be a good addition. I like okay. doing bike patrol. You know, he's okay. Guy. All right. Um, no, Ted. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Time. All right, come on, pugs. Come on, dog. Oh, God, you are heavy. Where do you keep uh, them? Do you, like, have straps in your arms or something? Yeah, I just, like, carry them with me. I am trying to get a uh, PD issued. You know how, like, women have their babies strapped to their chest? Yeah. I'm trying to get one of those, <laughs> but with a... Uh, okay, PD. I see how it is, Debbie. Using, using Doug as a fucking ballistic bitch now. Oh God, no! You're no. a he's you're a monster. I actually don't get shot. He's he's actually prevented me from getting shot before because people will approach me during like Hell Week and stuff, and they'll be like, "Oh, you're the cop with the pug," and then they move on. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, works. good. Yeah, but all right. Um, I think Percy is waiting. I'll I'll have him. Okay, yeah, send him in. Okay. Thank you. All right, thank you. Wait, Percy. Uh oh. If you don't leave me. He was just, yeah, she is. I like you a lot. I like everybody in LSPD so far. Not that I don't like anybody outside of LSPD apart from Mantis. That's the only guy I really just dislike. But I like everybody else. We are building a powerhouse department for sure, dude. For sure, everyone is fucking quality so far. Oh, uh, and we're off with Fiku! Oh, Viv. Oh, what the fuck? Hello, Chief. Please Please what is that? It. Ignore, ignore the potato launcher on my back. I haven't got it back into evidence yet. Okay. It was from the raid. Um. I wanted to just quickly say, and I'm sure you know it already, so I'm sorry to tell me to shut the fuck up. But uh, before with command and high command, there were like all the responsibilities spread around 20 people. And currently it's on two people. Uh, don't burn out. And if I can help in any way, like take little things off your plate, tell me because I'm, I'm here to help. It's very kind of you, I, I do not want you guys burning the fuck out because it, it feels like it's real easy to do if you're not careful. Um, yeah, I think it is. Um, if it gets to that point, I'll uh, because I'll, I'll obviously I'll do what you're doing for for Libby to make sure she doesn't burn out, but if it gets to the point I am. I'll make sure that I, I do some delegating and I'll, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. But but thank you very much. Okay. That's all I really wanted to say is that, you know, uh, you got to, even though like we're all just officers, we can still take little things off you if you need it taken off you. Okay. Yeah, I, I will for sure. Okay. But yeah, thank you, Percy. Good work today. Yeah. Thank you, Chief. I don't have this phone number. Hello, hello. 
Oh god, where the fuck did you come from? What is on Not your shoulder? Itself, same as you. It's my raven crow. Oh, is it a raven okay. or is it a crow? No, I don't want to touch your bloody crow. Get it away oh, from me. You, it's, a, it's a raven, but his name is Crow. Who gave you that? Why, why, why have you got a, a pet crow? Brother, I've, I didn't, no one gave it to me. I tamed it. You tamed it? You, from so, the wild, you know? Okay. All right, that's fine. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared. What's going on, I am... Richard? My man. Yeah, not not too much. How have you been? <laughs> I've been good. You know, us OGs around here holding it down. <laughs> you on you, your assistant chief, me, jobless as fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess I guess we are. Um. Well, how, how times have changed, huh? How times have changed? How how are you finding it? I'm be honest with you. I've had a lot of fun being UPD, not gonna lie. I feel like it's really humbled me, brought me down to my roots back when I was in the LSPD. And it made me realize that, you know, it's, the uniform doesn't make you, you make the uniform. It doesn't matter if you're a trooper, Here we LSPD, go. BCSO, whoever's wearing the outfit makes the outfit, you know? That's very true. That's a good attitude to have. Okay, cool. well, um, well, I mean, he, if you're any, if you've been reinvited to the troopers yet, I actually was. Believe oh, it or you, not, you was. I denied it. Really? Yeah, actually, yeah. I don't believe that. <laughs> Listen, we we go way back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like me and you were OGs of this place. Remember, you know the OGs like Mike Holiday, the Quan. They don't make them like them no more. You know, we're the last few standing around here. <laughs> They don't okay. make them like, you know, yeah. like OGs like Frank and Gus. Yeah, you, you're Rajesh not... Muhammad. Do you remember that one? <laughs> before my I time, I think. Him. Yeah, before my time. Oh, you never I'm... met him? No, I never met the guy. <laughs> I miss him. I wish he was around, man. What a legend. He should be... Uh, no offense. He should be assistant chief. What the fuck? He was a beast. He was a best Are you looking for I've a job? But... <laughs> yes, I, but I'm honest as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, I'll be honest. I thought you would. Uh, I would. I thought you would have joined the Rangers with with Conan. No. <laughs> right, look, listen. I may have a, a Raven. Claw you do on my have a bow on your shoulder. Yeah. I do, but Rangers, like, it's just not me, bro. I ain't going up in the mountains. I ain't taking care of no mountain lions. I'm a city boy. I, I want to be, you know, chasing. I want to be putting people behind bars. I want to be, you know, putting in police work out there, not fucking taking care of fucking hunting licenses. Fair enough. Okay. Um. All right. I just, I'll, I'll call this an interview. Okay. I'll call this an interview. Say less, brother. Say less. Um. Okay. Well. Uh, I guess why? Why LSPD? Why not BCSO? <clears throat> Jesus. So it was back in 2018. Six plus years I've been a cop, but when I started out, I was in the BCSO as a sheriff with uh, Tribble. And uh, I'll be honest. I I hate the up north. I hate Sandy Shores. I hate Grapeseed. I hate being around there. I hate their liveries, the way their uniform looks. Uh, I don't really fit in with like, you know, that type of K-Kona shotgun truck driving motherfuckers. And I just didn't feel at home. And then I decided to talk to Frank Williams and get a transfer. Uh, back then we used to have uh, call signs. I mean, you remember, it used to be like Ocean 7 or Alpha 7 or some bullshit like that. So I went from like yeah. Alpha 7 to Ocean 7. And I came down to the LSPD. I put on my beautiful new uniform. I put on these beautiful two stripes you see on my face. They originated from the LSPD. Wow. And that's why I really began my journey on becoming a trooper right in the LSPD. So I, I've always felt like the LSPD is what made me. And uh, it put me through this really try hard phase where I was fucking destroying everyone. Uh, I was being real try hard, paying everyone, incitizing. You know, you know the usual, the cuffing up. And uh, I believe that's where I really do belong is being, you know, on top of my game. And then when I joined the troopers, I'll be honest with you. I became very laid back, lazy, got away with a lot of shit. I killed a judge legally. And as much as fun as it was, I killed a judge legally, sir. This shows my dedication to my fellow officers. So if I give you some context, uh, I was in a bench trial and the judge was talking shit about Olivia Copper. And he wouldn't stop for some reason. So I told him, listen, Judge, you keep talking shit about Olivia Cop, I'm going to legally kill you. And he said, is that a threat? No, I said, sir, no, it's not a threat. Because if I legally kill you, therefore it's self-defense. Therefore it's not a threat because I, you would have initiated. And he said, fair enough. And then I don't know, he started swinging at me with, a, uh, with his fist. And then uh, I got tased by a cop. 
And then the judge whipped out a hammer, like a oh. sledgehammer, oh. and tried to hit me around the face with it. So I did a little dodge, uh, dodge, tuck and roll, and shot him in the fucking head inside his own courthouse. And I was never charged. It was all legal. And I actually, uh, he got charged for assault. Oh, so he didn't die. He's dead. He's dead. He's gone. How did he, he get charged after he was dead? Well, he was going to get charged. You know what I mean? That's what they told me. Oh, I see. Okay. I didn't get charged. Okay. Right? Is that, I forget his name. His name was... Fuck. Uh, listen, I asked my judge in his own courthouse and I defended my officer. See, that's loyalty. That's passion right there. Okay. All right. Um... All right, fair enough. Um, yeah. all right, so that's why you want to be LSPD. Listen, I, uh, I want to start from the right foot here because maybe maybe LSPD might not be for you. You know, I haven't heard <gasps> anything. No, 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 I'm certain. I just, just, I'm, I'm making a point. You want here, to work okay? at Burger Shot? No, I don't want you to work at Burger Shot because I don't think you'd be very good at flipping burgers. <clears throat> what? <laughs> what? Are that, you best then? Um, mm, I don't think you have the the the. the the bedside manner that would be needed for that. <clears throat> what the fuck you want me to do in life? Uh, become a porn star? <laughs> I, I'm a married man. I'm, I don't want to think about that. Um, listen, all, all I'm right. saying is I know that you and you and Conan get along well, and Conan's had a, a bit of a history, and I don't know so much about you, but both yeah. me and the chief, we do have a zero tolerance policy on on corruption, AJ. Is that, is that a good thing you for you? Right? Yeah. <clears throat> Why do you think I'm corrupt? No, I'm just I just wanted to see if that would sway your opinion on the LSPD, you know? <laughs> oh, what's your definition of corruption, good sir? Okay, how, how about we play a game? All right, how about we play right, a game? Play a if you, if you tell me a thing, something that you would do, I'll tell you if I think that's corrupt or not. It could be bad stuff, you know. <clears throat> All right, say for example. I wanted to give a criminal some more time off than the handcuffs showed me. Is that corruption? Why, why would you be doing that? Because what if, you know, the criminal has been worked with me, showed me a lot of compliance, maybe gave me some information, maybe, you know, made my job less hard and, you know, did all of that shit. I mean, no, that's not that's not corruption. Uh, you, you know, you're not you're not necessarily following the the standard operating procedures there, so it'd have to have good reason and some command yeah. approval, sure. But no, that's not corrupt. Okay, give me another one. <clears throat> hmm. If I dress up as a woman, right, just a right. Vargo's member, then yeah. uh, you know, take it and I find out he has a gun on him, and I call in the fucking PD. And then, you know, I pay him 20k for his, not 20k, like 5k for his gun to surrender it. Yeah. And uh, put it into evidence. Is that corruption? Did you, did you, did you charge him for it? 100%. No, that's, that's not corruption. What if I let him go? For giving me the gun? Then, I mean, you bought the gun, he sold the gun, and then you yeah. didn't charge him... And it would depend on your intent there. If you, okay, uh, okay. if your intent was bad, then yeah, it's corruption. If your intent wasn't bad, then no. <clears throat> all right, all right. Um, I do have a little concern just with you, sir. I just want to talk about this. Okay. Uh, don't take this the wrong way. So I was in here with Bass, uh, talking to him and pretty much telling him, like, Troopers is finito for me. And uh, oh, Ricardo really? walks in and he was fucking pissed. Ricardo, yeah. <laughs> he was he was saying uh What was he you, saying? That you striked him yeah. for uh, some shit. I didn't know if his story was true or not. And I just wanted to hear from your side, uh like what was the reason you striked him exactly? And I know you don't owe me anything, I just wanna know if like the way your the way you know your standards and policies and the way you run the LSPD would fit, you know? Because the way he yeah. described it, I didn't. I'm not. I wasn't sure what was going on. Well, uh, a bunch of of officers let somehow let forehead into Mission Row, dressed yeah, as a yeah. cop. I think you know the story. Um, forehead during the negotiations offered him up, offered himself up uh, in replace of Jay Hobbs. So forehead would have gone in the cell. Given his gun up, and Jay Hobbs would have been let free. <clears throat> but as far as I'm aware, 
Ray Caldo said no. So that was problem mm. number one. Problem number okay. two is if he's held up cops at Mission Row, um, you know, the SOP when some when cops get held up is to shoot that person, right? Hmm. So no matter what, when a cop gets held up, you want them shooting. No matter no, what. No, not not every time. No, obviously situations yeah, happen. Yeah. But I mean the fact that it happened at Mission Row and that it was Forehead who shoots cops on the daily, I don't think that should have been an exception. Yeah. But like, yeah, okay. I mean, so there are certain times where you, if they don't, like, if they don't shoot, then they will get in trouble. Like, if they don't have outside Mission Row or... I think it's completely context-dependent. But for the 100%. most part, for the most part, I'd say 99% of the time we should be shooting that person who's just held up officers. That's that's the LSPD standpoint. Hmm, okay. Uh, but, you know, so you didn't have enough confidence in Ricardo to believe that he did it with good intent, he had all the contacts, and uh, you, you feel like he was intentionally breaking SOPs to maybe like, help the criminals, maybe? I don't uh, no, I don't think he was trying to help the criminals. I just think he made the the wrong choice. And at the oh, end of the day, okay, okay. officers' lives were at risk, and that yeah. was very prevalent. And he was willing to let them go out there and continue to put officers' lives at risk. And that's not mm -hmm. something I'm okay with. Okay, so you just feel like his lack of judgment put everyone else around him in danger. Yeah, the fact that he he allowed this to happen. You, you don't want it happening pretty much right? like Mr. Rowe, unless it's like a very, 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 very like severe, like unique case. Hey, Jack. Otherwise, yeah, you don't it, want to set like a... Uh... Now that's happened to Forehead, what about if he tells, you know, some guys in Chang Gang and then no, they no. go and try and do it and then when they get shot, they're going to be like, but Forehead didn't fucking get shot and then I'm going to have to... They're no. going to call Bass and then Bass is going to have to come down and deal with that and I don't want that for Bass. Hmm. So, because Ray Carter didn't shoot, did he? I'm guessing all the criminals got away, or uh, the suspect that was originally in custody got away. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. I, okay. But what about the ones that were holding up cops and shit? Forehead was was in custody. Yes. Oh, so that that initial swap kind of happened then? No, it didn't. He let them both leave in a car. Oh, okay. so he didn't let the, there was like it was 15 strike points and whether it's like five here or 10 here, but it was half and half for one that not accepting a very simple negotiation where the consideration for forehead being shot wouldn't have had to be there because he could have just said, yes, yeah. okay, forehead, you go in the cell and we'll let Jay Hobbs go and we can chase Jay Hobbs. There's no even consideration for shooting Jay because he was already in a cell you know, he wasn't armed as far as I'm aware. <clears throat> so yeah. that, that would have been out the window and then none of this would have happened. Okay, okay. Well, so I had a similar situation at Mishro PD, right, where I solo caught an S-plus vehicle. Impressive. And uh, there was another car that was detained as well with it. I had an officer go up there, grab it, bring it to Mission Row. And then a suspect came down into the parking lot and uh, tried to steal the uh, car back by holding up a cop. Uh, so what I did was I uh, secured the area. I told the guy very, very clearly that, listen, if I see you trying to attempt to escape without our negotiations, if you don't comply with everything I say, I don't care how many hostages you have, you will get fucking shot instantly. Now, if you work with me, I'll make sure that, you know, this is a one time, you know, experience. This will not happen again. If you take any more cops out, you know, Mr. OPD, you will be shot, open fire upon. But you have to comply with me, work with me, and you have to be completely open. He wanted free passage to his car. So I told him, listen, you'll get your free passage if you try to leave early, if you try to leave and we're not ready. If you try any funny business, you will get shot. This scared the individual. And uh, we negotiated. I told him straight up, listen, you fucked up here. You did this at Mr. OPD. So instantly, every officer is going to be involved. Instantly. We're going to be aggressive as fuck. You're going to get spiked. You're going to get fucked up no matter what. You should. You doing this was on your own accord. Now you will suffer the re repercussions, but I will work with you and not shoot you instantly. 
And because this was so open, he uh, got in his car, had like four or five units ready. Soze was there, everyone was there. And this guy got absolutely obliterated, not by guns. But he got fucking pitted, spiked, and he got arrested. And my question to you is, because I didn't shoot him, would I be in trouble? Good question. <clears throat> Troubles, uh, you know, a very specific word, right? I think I, you. I'm only hearing it from from your your thing here. I heard it from two separate people. I heard it from Ricardo and a group of officers. Yeah. No, of course. I'm just talking about this specific incident that I performed a couple of weeks ago. That's it. I'm not. I'm not talking about the. I'm not trying to compare the Ricardo incident or anything. I'm just wondering if I if I join the NSPD and I do something like that, will I be getting strike? I guess my question would be like, if he's just held one of your colleagues up with a gun and threatened to kill them, what makes yeah. you think that when he drives away, he's not going to lead a bunch of cops, like 40 cops, instead of just one, into an ambush, and then all you guys get shot? Because, listen... I have faith in, I, I'm very confident in my ability and my skills individually. <laughs> and to be honest, if, if, like, if I'm being 100% honest, if after I told him straight up, you're going to get paid instantly, you're getting spiked, the cops will be hella aggressive from the get go. And if there's fucking 40 cops on him and we all get wiped because of that, we deserve to get fucking killed, to be honest. There's no reason why. An individual inside Mr. PD or in the parking lot should even make it to Legion Square, let alone a place to ambush us completely and then wipe all 40 cops. This scenario that, like, this, uh, I guess the scenario that you gave me of, oh, what if he starts shooting cops, he kills like 20 of them? I'll be real, with the amount of force we have, with the right leader on scene, it's impossible because you use the right resources, you, you know, dictate which cops are gonna uh, parallel, which cops are gonna chase what cops are going to spike, what going to parallel. And if you use all your resources to the max, like we should be doing at every scene, then it wouldn't, you wouldn't fall into places like getting fucking ambushed or getting fucking killed or shot at. And uh, because I used all my uh, resources and played all my chess pieces correctly, the guy couldn't even make it to Legion Square before getting paid spike. And eventually he got out of the car and surrendered because he knew it was fucked. He knew like he would never do this again. He learned his lesson. He knew it would be aggressive. He... Even admitted it was dumb as fuck and uh, processed him, gave him max time, everything, and then he was gone. So my, I guess my just answer to you is, with the right leader on scene and the right amount of cops, which there's always the right amount of cops, you really can't get led into an ambush or a fucking, like shot, all four of you get shot down or anything like It's yeah. not possible. Especially at Mr. Rowan, even the cops inside the Mr. Rowan, they come out as well. If I'm being honest, I don't think that's the situation you described doesn't fit the bill for like a unique situation that should be given a pass. I right, just... enough, so I would get straight. Yeah, probably for not following SOPs. All I right, think well... you. I... Go on. All right. <clears throat> well, I mean, I guess that. I don't want to waste any more of your time. I appreciate, you know, you even talking to me and giving me this interview, but I mean, that's just, I guess, if, if I get a strike for that, then uh, I just cause a lot more issues and needs to be in your department, and I don't want to do that. Okay. So I guess that's how oh, you just keep it nice, short, simple. Fair enough. Well, thank you for your time. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time, sir. You take care, AJ. You too. You too. Easy. Easy interview. Um, anybody else we're going to talk to today? I was going to talk to Louise about PD Toe doing like, I don't know how to do that now though.
Is Brian around?